You can find the quest giver NPC in chapter three at North Shore of the Bitter Lake. He gives you a quest that leads to a secret boss called Green Capped Martialist, rewarding you with the Spellbinder spell. Wait, you won't eat me, will you? Oh, I was, I was on a treasure hunt, but I ended up being the hunted. I owe you my life, sir. I'll share the treasure with you once I find it. Say, why is there nothing but Yaogwais in this so-called Buddha's realm? Can I look to you to save me again, sir, if they come back? Green without. Round and sweet, red within, a summer treat. Where can I find something like that in this frozen land? Green without, round and sweet, red within, a summer treat. Where can I find something like that in this frozen land? When you cross paths with the treasure hunter again in the magical forest of Felicity, he shouts out for your help, mentioning that he requires fire. By casting the ring of fire in front of him, you'll trigger a cutscene where he comfortably sits in the flames to warm himself. After speaking with him three times, he'll suggest that you look for Melon Field, another nearby shrine waiting to be discovered. I heard that Buddha planted watermelons here hundreds of years ago. One bite grants prolonged life. Yet, when the cold bites all around, without your powerful spells, uh, there's no way I can find it. Someone once saw a chubby boy jump from the cliff with a watermelon in his arms. He rushed to the edge of the cliff but saw no movement down there. Seemed like certain death. But suddenly, he heard the boy laughing from beneath, on and on. Bewildered, he fled from the cliff. This story may offer a clue for my treasure hunt. Maybe the watermelons were planted under the cliff. Don't let me keep you, sir. I will leave by myself when I feel warm enough. This story may offer a clue for my treasure hunt. Maybe the watermelons were planted under the cliff. Don't let me keep you, sir. I will leave by myself. The Green Capped Marshalist serves as the final boss in the Treasure Hunt quest and is located at the Valley of Ecstasy Melon Field. This formidable foe specializes in fire based assaults, making it wise to don the Fireproof Mantle, which you can acquire from the secret boss in Chapter 1. Expect his melee strikes to come in Rapid 3. Four hit combos, so stay on your toes and be ready to evade. Once you've dodged his attacks, seize the opportunity to unleash some swift counterattacks. It's best to conserve your mana for the immobilized spell instead of using Pluck of Many, as your clones will struggle to be effective when he shifts into his wheel form. In summary, while the green capped Martialist can be somewhat predictable, he remains a tough opponent to land hits on. Use your spells wisely and maintain your patience, capitalizing on his melee phases to deal damage. 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games. Yeah. Nothing more. 
I've done as our brother asked. Till we meet again! has led you here. <laughs> Rest easy. You won't find those noisy chantings and pain screamings here. Hmm. <clears throat> A nice, ripe melon. Want a bite? Mm. Mm. It's better than you think. Sun Wukong used it to trick that disciple of mine. Come. Come closer. Now you've found this place. I'll teach you a trick neither of them knows. Your hand. <laughs> Spellbinder. It hurts no foe, but binds yourself. You'll come to understand its use. An old friend of Sun Wukong came to me, wanting some peace. I led him to the Great Pagoda. Have you paid him a visit? <laughs> they say you are the destined one. But if destiny is set, what difference do our actions make? <laughs> 